Hi, it is Kai. Welcome to my channel where I will share with you my love for books, art, stationery, unboxing, other interesting stuff, and more. I changed my intro just for a bit because it used to be travel, but we can't travel nowadays safely. If you're a new viewer, welcome. And if you're not, then welcome back. Today, we're going to do two boxes of the Kids in a Lifestyle box. Late boxes, I know. What is new? For transparency, I have already unboxed these wonderful boxes from my other channel, Gentle Chris. If you want to see an unboxing video that is so soothing and calming without my annoying voice in the background, then please click on the link up there or down there, whichever, whichever you want. Let's start our unboxing with the March box. This is the cherry blossom box. Of course, you can't see anything, right? I have to open it. Opening it. When you open the box, you will be greeted by this pamphlet, which actually is the spoiler paper, if you may, with the greetings from the Kizuna staff to their subscribers. And this is all about the Sakura. Of course, I'm so late now. Sakura is over. Oh my goodness gracious. It, we love late boxes here. Anyway, I'm gonna make this quick. And because I... Uh, did a little bit of review for them. They gave me this. Thank you for reviewing us. Extra. It says here a present for you. This is the Ninja Meshi or Ume Katsuo candy. It's plum bonito flavor. I have seen this in the candy store before. So yeah, that's the thank you present. Um, the next one we are going to open is this very well protected bowl. Yeah, so look at this wonderful ceramic bowl. This is the Minayaki ceramic bowl. Of course, it has Sakura as designs. There are grooves and smooth edges. The Minoware or the Minayaki actually originates from Gifu Prefecture, which is one of Japan's most popular potteries. The history of this pottery is said to date back 1,300 years. That's a long history. The next item in the box is another bowl and it's very common. I know you may have seen this um, once or twice before, maybe. This black bowl has the sakura flowers as the design and the inside is red. This is called the Yozakura soup bowl. During the daytime, the people go uh, hanami, uh, flower viewing. The sakura flower viewing but you can also view the flowers at night so that is called yo sakura the sakura during the nighttime the next item we have is another ceramic item i love ceramics so much the minoyaki sakura ceramic plate a small plate with a lovely design with beautiful cherry blossom coloring the river surface so this part here maybe resembles the river flowing and the blossoms are on the surface just going with the flow like life the next item we have is the second ceramic plate oh it's just one color just a pink color but what's interesting is that it has grooves that if you look at it this is the sakura flower a sakura shaped plate you can put sweets and chocolates at tea time. The thing is, there are two types of this ceramic plate. I've seen it on Instagram. The other one really is shaped like a sakura blossom. So that's it for the ceramics. Ooh, we have here sweet sakura tea, cherry blossoms. I've tried sakura tea before. It doesn't really taste anything. It's not meant to be tea. Okay, it is considered an auspicious drink as the opening petals in hot water represent achievements and success. Oh, okay, this is one of the uh, tea that has a dry blossom where you, if you put it in, in warm water, it will just gradually open, which is beautiful by the way. The next one is a furoshiki. Yeah, have you seen this before? A furoshiki is a traditional Japanese wrapping cloth. They use this to wrap gifts and other goods. So this is another yozakura item, another nighttime sakura item. Okay, so we are going to the next item, which is just the um, chopsticks. I have a lot of chopsticks, so... The design here is the Shidare Zakura. Shidare Zakura is just another type of sakura tree wherein it looks like it's weeping. It usually blooms in early April. Oh, because we have chopsticks, we have to have an item where you can put it on because this is called... Oh, look at this. It's so cute, right? This is called the Hashi Oki. Hashi. Hashi is the chopsticks in Japanese. And the Hashi Oki just 
It's just where you put your chopsticks. So when you're finished with your meal, you can put this on top of the hashioki. Don't put it on top of your bowl. If you have this, just put it here. That's the right way, right table manners for the Japanese people. Now we go to the paper items. We have this stationery. It's called the uh, Minowashi Sakura Mini Letter Set. We have here a notepad. The front side of the paper is smooth, while the back is more textured, a little rougher. We only have one design for this, which is the Sakura flower. And we have plain cream-colored, very cute mini envelopes. Okay, we have two postcards and I love these postcards because of the uh, watercolor art on here. Let me just take it out of its plastic home. The material used for this postcard resembles watercolor paper and that actually fits the uh, design because it's a watercolor painting. This is the Kiyomizudera or the Ki Kiyomizu temple which just literally translates to pure water temple because this temple right here, it's a Buddhist temple, it is found near the Ottawa waterfall. So the waterfall, which is, you know, they call it pure water, that's how it is named, Kiyomizudera, pure water temple. The next one we have is called the Tetsugaku no Michi or the Philosopher's Path. This is dubbed the Philosopher's Path or Walk because of an influential philosopher and uh, Kyoto professor named Nishida Kitaro. And they say that uh, Nishida Kitaro actually uses this path to meditate. That is the, the box for uh, March. The next box is the one I got from my local post office just a few days ago, maybe last, just last week. And unfortunately, I don't know what happened here. I, I don't know how it traveled. <laughs> But I think the customs checked it because the seal was broken and when the seal was broken I felt like my privacy was also violated. I feel like somebody kicked it, punched it, slammed it against something. It does, it's not the usual pristine box that we get from Kids in a Box. Yeah, so we have here the pamphlet which says April 2020 edition Haru no Hana, the spring flowers. They say that April is a special month for the Japanese people because um, the current students go up one school year, the company welcomes new staff, and various new life starts. Let's go and unbox this thing. Oh yeah, look, look, look. It came like this. Look at that. They unsealed it like this. It's very rough. Okay, what we have here is a towel. It's called the Margaret Pink Towel. Margaret. Now, I'm not sure why it's called the Margaret Pink Towel. It can come in pink or yellow. So I got the pink one, which is, I think, cool because spring, right? Usually, color is pink. They say that it actually dries pretty um, fast. But yeah, that's a towel. The next item is... A toothbrush. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, right? I have something to say about Japanese toothbrushes. You know, when I lived in Japan, I was looking for a normal sized uh, bristle brush. But I don't know why. The Japanese prefer the kitty, kitty size. If you can see that, can you see this? It's how small, it's like a toothbrush for kids. This is what it is. I've tried looking for a normal size <laughs> toothbrush for adults but there was none I got resigned to the fact that this is the size I'm getting when I live in Japan so yeah they call this a cherry blossom toothbrush with a cap for hygiene I can't say anything else anymore going back to the box we have a pack of flower kiss candy as it says right here so we have blue okay yellow and pink. These candies are best before November 2020. You will be happy just looking at the package with various flower drawings. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. It makes me a little bit happy because they're colorful. Happy colors is what I call these. Common allergens are milk and soy. Huh? Plum candy with plum flavor. How about that? I'll be surprised if it's plum candy with orange flavor or banana flavor. I'm a little bit sarcastic today. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the coffee I drank. McDonald's coffee makes me 
sarcastic. And uh, Starbucks coffee makes me hyper. That's what happens to me. Greatly influenced by the coffee I drank. The next item is a snack. I think it's rice crackers, but let me just read it. Yeah, I just saw it. Spring shaped rice cracker. What is the shape of spring? Maybe a flower. Yeah, it is flower shaped crackers. Uh, it's best before May 27th, 2020. Eh? So it's expired. I don't think it is really expired, you know. It's best before, not expired. There's a difference. Best before meaning it, yeah, the taste would be best before you this this day. If you eat this before this date, it, the taste would be in its best flavor. Expired meaning you can't eat it anymore. So I think I can still eat it, okay? Let's not waste food. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this today. Okay, it says here that they use Miyakogane mochi or Miyakogane rice, I think. It comes from the prefecture of Miyagi. The highest grade glutinous rice. High grade rice. Okay, the next item. Oh, I don't know why it's under here, but this is another thank you for reviewing us present. It's so big. This is Sakura Anko Candy. Common allergens? None. And it's best before November 2020. This candy is wrapped Anko or red bean paste from Hokkaido. Ooh, Hokkaido Tokachi. Right, thank you. Thank you for this. Next item is... A ceramic plate. Let's go to the ceramic items, which is, well, my favorite items to see and receive from this box. We have a small candy plate again, another ceramic plate. Very cute. So small. Oh la la, look at that. This is my face and this is this. Look at these. <laughs> so cute. It's called the Minoyaki small plate of blue flowers. This is in the shape of a nemophila. Nemophila is just another um, flower. Um, I think it's also called small flower baby blue eyes. Okay, that's the ceramic plate. I love it. Um, there is another ceramic plate and this is why I say that I, I'm heartbroken because um, while opening the box and getting some of the items out to check them for my Gentle Craig's channel, I, I heard tinkling sounds and I thought that inside one of the ceramic wraps or items there is a small spoon maybe that's the one that I, I was hearing tinkling inside but turns out that okay, it's, a, it's right over here I'm gonna show you the close-up video can you hear that? yes guys it's broken I've got a broken ceramic plate right here And this is such a beautiful design too. The flower design is called Rape Blossom. I don't know who named the flowers, but Rape? Rape? Why? It's interesting how it's broken. It, it's broken in a way that resembles a peace sign. <laughs> Maybe it's telling me to be at peace because it's in pieces. I actually messaged them in Instagram. I haven't received a reply yet. I messaged them maybe four days ago. No reply. So I don't know if they will have a replacement for this or none because it's not their fault and I don't blame them. Only that I hope that next time they will wrap their ceramics more securely and put more protection around them because uh, some people, they transport these boxes without a care and that's just the fact. Alright, this has been staring at me for the longest period of time and uh, this is the first time I've seen this. Actually, this is the first time I've acknowledged its existence. I've seen this before but I mean, what's this? And I, I didn't really care about researching what it is really. So this is the Diatomaceous Earth tablet flower. If you're familiar with silica, it, it works the same. This tablet works the same. It absorbs moisture. So it's not very good if you're going to put it in your sugar jar because it absorbs moisture too much. Your sugar will become a big clump of candy. 
hard than candy. This block that absorbs moisture just by putting it in a container such as salt is recommended for coffee beans and tea leaves as well as salt. It's designed in Japan. So this is the uh, kind of like silica gel for food. The next item is another ceramic. This is a hexagonal vase. Minayaki hexagonal small flower vase. It's so cute and the color is very beautiful. The uh, irregularity of the hexagonal sides is somewhat pleasing to my eyes. They're not particularly straight. Kind of has its own personality which I love about um, ceramics or clay products. All right, let's go to the next item which is this honey and renge flower powder bath natural bath powder honey and astragalus incense if you're gonna ask me what an astragalus incense is well i don't know let me check it out so according to mr google astragalus incense is a traditional chinese medicine it boosts the vital energy of the body i think i'm gonna keep this for one i don't have a bathtub yet i haven't gotten my own bathtub yet for this house but I'm gonna keep it. I don't think there's an exp expiration date. No, ma'am. No, sir. So I can still use this after 10 years, maybe. No, no. The next item we have is a postcard notepad. Seven, eight, nine. I have 10 postcards. There are two different designs. I'm going to put up a close up of the two designs. Oh, okay. It's not a postcard memo or notepad, it's called a postcard book. It looks like a memo pad instead, not a book. A book? A book? A book? A book opens like that, right? So that is it for... Oh no, not... not we still have a product right here. Actually, when I initially unboxed this, I almost didn't see this item. It's the Mitsubishi pen called Jetstream because a regular stream of ink is not enough. We have to have a Jetstream. Does it write? It's very smooth to write with. Jetstream. Oh yeah, I have a new favorite pen. Uh, the ink is black, by the way. If you're interested in getting your own keys in a box, they have two types of boxes, the lifestyle box and the uh, snack box. Uh, I'm not into snacks, so I got the lifestyle box because I love the randomness, the random items in the boxes. Uh, so I'm going to put the link down below. Check it out, why don't you? Especially the past boxes. Just check it. Just see if this box is for you because I recommend it 100%, except for when there's something breakable inside that is actually broken. It happened just the one time, okay? The contents of my previous boxes didn't have any scratch or dent or break in them. This is a once in a blue moon occurrence, which broke my heart still, but yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like because it helps my channel so much. Give me some love. If you want to be part of Purple Kai Studio, see more of my unboxings, my reviews, my vlogs here and there, and my weirdness, then please subscribe because it is free and you'll help me out. Sayonara. Arrivederci. Okay. Bye. Hi. Update. The Kizuna team just sent me a message and they told me they're going to send a replacement ceramic plate for the one that was broken in the uh, April box and they're going to include it in my next box which they will ship out this July, hopefully. They will ship it out this July and I can't wait, I'm so excited. And yeah, there's another problem solved, hey, one by one, one day at a time, so stay positive, things will work out. Bye. <laughs> You will be greeted by the pamphlet or the car outside. Stuff like paper, bubble wrap. Stay on the floor. Another nighttime sakura item. Oh, oh, oh. it's upside down. This side up, please. Looks like it's a whipping tree. Whipping, not no, weeping. I need more coffee. Fine, fine. You put this. Oh, wow, wow. Yes, like that. Not like that. So cute. Oh my goodness, I'm going to drop it again. I keep on almost dropping things on my channel. Maybe I should change my name to Clumsy Kai Studios.
Oh my goodness, I dropped it. I keep on dropping things. Stop dropping things, my love. This is the. Oh my goodness gracious. Clumsy me. Okay. <laughs> stop, stop it. <laughs> Hands, please function like a normal hand. This is the Kiyomizu. Okay. Yes, tricycle, do your thing. Go. Take it and go. And I just <laughs> released a lot of fuzz. Oh my. I release a lot of fun. I have allergic rhinitis, just to let you know. Well, yes, I do, because... Careful driving, please. The highest grade glutinous rice. It's, it's out at super pound. Kimi, machamakubara, pamachur. Get it? Please stop hammering. Yes, thank you very much for not listening to me. I hope your hammer flies out of your hands straight to Thor.